All right, guys, what's going on? This is a PS3 CEX-based custom firmware video for you. This is the new release today, the uh, PS3 custom firmware CEX version 4.41 ARC. ARCH version 2.00. This is the final version of their custom firmware for 4.41, and they finally released it to the public. And I'm going to be showing you how to install this. Now, 411, we do realize that there was an update to 446. There is a spoofer included with this download, and I will show you how to do that in another video. And uh, I will leave the link to that video and an annotation on this video once I have that up to that video. So give me about a day or something like that, and it'll be up and ready to go. But uh, First things first, there's, you're going to need a PS3 that's running either lower than official firmware 355 or you're going to need a custom firmware PS3 running some kind of custom firmware above 355. So uh, you can only install this on a custom firmware PS3 or a official firmware PS3 lower than 355 official firmware. Another thing you're going to need is a USB stick that's at least a gigabyte in order to install this and I'm going to go ahead and plug that in right now. So I'm plugging in my USB and it'll come up here and I'm just going to open the files. This is my PS3 USB stick that I use uh, so uh, just keep that in mind and uh, oh, I got nothing in there. Hmm, got to change that. Anywho, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, first things first is you're going to want to make a new folder on the root of your uh, memory stick or your uh, USB here and call it PS3. Uh, capital PS and then the number three obviously and enter that and open that up inside that folder you're gonna wanna make an update folder also all in capital letters so there's the update folder and open that up and leave it at that now the file I'm gonna have you download is right here and uh, I'm currently uploading it right now it's the uh, PS3 come on PS3 custom firmware CEX 4.41 ARCH ARC version 2.0.0 final version. So double click on that and open it up. Now when you open this up you will see a folder called the PS3 custom firmware CEX 4.41 ARC version 2.0.0 final version. Open up that folder. Whew, that's a lot of words. And you will see the PS3 folder. Now here is the ARC updater customizer with spoof for 4. 0.46. We're not going to worry about that in this video, but I will have it available inside this package when you download it, and uh, I will have a video on how to install that. Uh, if you want to go ahead and try it out by yourself, simply all you do is just copy that over to your packages folder on your USB stick. If you don't have a folder, make a new one, call it packages all in lowercase letters, and install the package after copying it to your USB. But moving on to the update, so let's get back to the update folder and open up the PS3 folder and then the update folder and you will see custom firmware CEX version 4.41 ARC version 2 final PS3 updat.pup so what you're gonna do is drag and drop that and extract it from the files that you downloaded now this is a RAR file you will need some kind of extraction program for it the zip program on Windows will not work with this it only works with compressed zip files so uh, if you want, go download WinRAR or whatever else you use to extract the files. If you don't have one, you can try right-clicking on it and extracting the files that way. Uh, it might not work depending on the RAR compression. Um, but other than that, uh, let that copy over. And then there's a very distinct step that I'm going to want to uh, show you, and that is a necessity here. Uh, if you can look in here, well, you can't really fucking see it. Uh, but you'll see that the file is named the PS3 uh, dash custom firmware dash CEX dash etc and it goes to the uh, PS3 updat here it is right here um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rename that PS3 updat so all of this the CFW dash CEX dash 4.41 dash ARCH dash V2.00 dash final dash that gets deleted and it's just PS3 updat dot pup so make sure you rename it as that or else your ps3 will not recognize it to install it once you do that let's just double check the update pup file is in the update folder and that folder is in the ps3 folder on the root of the usb drive and uh, we can exit that and now it's time to go to the ps3 so i will meet you guys there all right so now that you're at the ps3 uh, simply what you're going to do is just unplug your uh, USB stick from your computer and plug it into your PS3. 
so go ahead and do that now remember you have to have the uh, ps3 update or the ps3 update.pup in the uh, ps3 and the update folder on the root of your usb so go ahead and plug that in and then scroll up to your system update click x on system update and allow that to load the screen and when you get there you're gonna select uh, update via storage media so you go ahead and update from the via storage media so press X on that when you click X on that it'll scan and you will see the 4.41 PS3 update.pup so click X on that and it will copy the files over to your unit alright so stating the fact on this custom firmware this custom firmware has a lot of bug fixes and this is the version 2 that has been released to the public finally so basically the uh, PS3 uh, conversion ISOs of PSP ISOs that are either the minis or the PSP remasters the black screen problem has been fixed I have a video on how to make these remasters and uh, so forth and shit like that so you can go ahead and check that out on my channel if you want to try this out um, the emulators have been repaired uh, so any faulties with emulators that you've been having have been fixed uh, for an example like crashing or like uh, graphics going all oobity do as you could say I guess uh, you know pixelated things like that but yeah so that's that so PSP ISO conversions remasters or minis have been repaired and uh, the emulators have been fixed alright so um, after it's done copying as, as it shows here uh, let it boot back up and it will boot to like a recovery mode kind of thing and it'll check for the update data so press the PS button on your controller and allow it to commence with the installation automatically now this is a CEX based custom firmware you can install this from official firmware 3.55 or lower or a custom firmware uh, the 355 other OS or higher and it can be it has to be CEX do not install this from a DEX unless you downgrade it to 355 other OS first uh, which is available using multi-man and all that fun jazz now also that has been fixed with this um, what else um, oh yeah there's an installation package like I said before it, uh, it's a 4.6 spoofer or 4.46 spoofer so you can get online and if you plan on playing your online backups online um, you're gonna wanna use the uh, 4.40.00 uh, stealth man base multi-man uh, there is the 4.40.00 multi-man as well for those of you who are not online um, but you can use that they are both compatible with this 4.40 for one custom firmware that has been spoofed for 4.46 I will have a video on how to spoof it alright so once the custom firmware installs the only things that really been changed with this custom firmware is that your little account has a devil head and uh, and you have your uh, photo manager your music manager your video manager and all that fun jazz uh, scroll to the game section you will see the blu-ray disc emulation disc right there for when you load your backups install package files you will have to use multi-man to queue them into this folder data manager is your save data manager for your PS3 and your minis consoles things like that and the memory card utility is deathly obvious for the PS1 memory cards and PS2 virtual memory cards that you created um, themes have been added to your network all this fun stuff Homebrew Tools, Direct, Homebrew Backup Manager, and the uh, Navi Quick Web, which is basically another web browser that has been installed. Themes for PS3, haha, there you go. And uh, that's that there. If you can scroll over to the PlayStation Network, you will see the title store preview in game and for the store. So it'll show you, you can run the uh, PlayStation Store with the in game menu or the uh, non-in-game menu which is just a regular store I don't know what the fucking point of that is but whatever but uh, yeah so that's it so there's just been shortcuts and things added and uh, that's about it so yeah rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel I hope you guys enjoy this custom firmware remember it's CEX base so only install it from 355 other OS or a CEX base custom firmware or lower than 355 official firmware feel free to donate to my channel for more materials for you guys and tour tutorials and things like that
and uh, go check out my website software-reborn.com and everything will be in the description below along with a link for download so take it easy guys and I will talk to you guys